This is a proof of concept. So there's a new capability we are employing on the MQ-9 called Satellite Launch and Recovery. And it allows our air crews to fly the aircraft anywhere in the world and land and take off anywhere in the world. Whereas before we were tied to specific airfields with large maintenance footprints, this allows us to be much more agile and, and serve the national defense strategy with agile combat employment. So behind me is an MQ-9 uh, that flew in this morning, took off late last night from March Air Force Base in California, flew across country, and then landed here at Shaw Air Force Base. Yeah, so um, I used to do what was called launch and recovery, where we had to send folks downrange to um, take off and land these planes. Now we can do it from anywhere. Uh, so these members are able to come home and become um, work fully stateside uh, and also go into a deployed to dwell type cycle. Uh, so they don't need to traditionally deploy as much anymore and they're able to train back home and have some dwell time with their families, which is huge. Uh, behind you there's uh, probably about 30 to 40 members from the 25th attack group. Uh, we have two attack squadrons, uh, four attack squadrons in the group total. I fly MQ-9s every day, shift work, uh, work overnight on holidays 24-7. And we're unique. We, don't, we fly our aircraft uh, eight hours at a time and never really get to see our aircraft, which is different than every other manned aircraft in the fleet. Uh, so coming out, being able to see it, uh, have families uh, show, us, show them what we do every day and on the aircraft we fly. The things that the, the MQ-9 and the Air Force uh, trains and works on and the new capabilities that we're constantly coming up with and um, um, trying to perfect, it shows that what we're doing is working. And so to be able to watch the progression of these launches and, and recoveries over the last two years and to finally see it being executed and showcased, is, uh, it, it's, it's, it's pretty special.